Last month, Elon Musk complained that lithium refiners were minting money and making software-like margins. Close to the heart of lithium processing seats, Ganfeng Lithium, a highly profitable China group that is pivotal to car makers' dreams of going electric, but vulnerable to state influence as Beijing tightens control over strategic sectors with customers including Tesla, BMW, and Volkswagen, Ganfeng's every move faces mounting scrutiny. In recent weeks, the, the group has hit the headlines for an insider trading probe launched by Beijing's regulator. It's, it's near $1 billion acquisition of lithium mines in Argentina and for a subsidiary's participation in a joint venture to explore for lithium in Xinjiang, a region central to acquisitions of rights abuses. The heightened attention that lines how the second largest lithium processor by production volume after Chilean rival SQM is walking a fine line between keeping Beijing on its side and establishing itself in regional electric vehicle supply chains in the West. So the company was founded by Li Liangbin in Jiangxi in 2000. The group has become one of the most important companies for overcoming a bottleneck in the rollout of electric cars, turning raw materials into battery-grade lithium compounds. In the, in the first quarter of this year, 2022, Ganfeng's operating profit rose almost eightfold to four renminbin, that is around $592 million dollars on revenue on revenue that more than trebled to 5.4 billion remain bean result in resulting in margins of about 75 percent lithium prices have multiplied 13 times in two years to six thousand sixty seven thousand and fifty dollars per ton of lithium carbonate in july according to benchmark minerals intelligence a pricing agency Ganfeng's roots are in chemical processing, but the group, listed in Hong Kong and Shenzhen, says its focus is developing mining in Argentina, Mexico, Australia, and Mali for materials to refine into lithium hydroxide or lithium carbonate. But it comes amid rising geopolitical tensions, localization of EV supply chains, and development of domestic lithium processing by Western nations factors that could limit the feedstock available for China refiner, refiners. Ganfeng's rise to a market capitalization of $26 billion marks a remarkable achievement for lithium, for Li and business partner Wang Jiaoshen. The pair together own just over a quarter of the group, according to regulatory filings. Alex Pate, a chief executive of uh, Ces uh, Cesius Group, a China risk consultancy, says relatively, relatively low profile Li has kept Beijing on side despite the fact that Li and his business undoubtedly benefited from ties to some of President Xi's, uh, from President Xi Jinping's earlier pol political rivals. Given the strategic importance of lithium in China and the sheer size of Ganfeng Lithium's market position, the party could have a vested interest in maintaining the status quo with Li in so far as he does not step out of bounds. Industry insiders praise the founder's vision, so some call Li the rain man for his ability to read the market and make counterintuitive bets, including shipping brine, from which lithium can be extracted, from Chile to China, to cut costs. Ganfeng foresaw the mineral shortage and started investing aggressively many years ago, according to Susan Zhou, battery materials analyst at research company Reistad Energy. When lithium prices slumped in 2019, the group kept investing, according to John K 
Kanelit Kane, Sass, executive vice chairman of Lithium Americas, in which Gamfang owns 20%. There was no wavering of their vision, despite the seemingly neutrality and affability of the founders. Gamfang faces the specter of influence by an increasingly authoritarian Beijing. Joe Lowry, a former supplier to Gamfang through US Group FMC and friend of Li and Wang, said Gamfang keeping its independence might be an issue. It depends on how the Chinese government views its battery and electric vehicles ambitions. Analysts say there is a growing risk that Beijing asks Gamfang to prioritize China EV makers if the lithium shortage deepens. Some suggest a state-owned mining group such as uh, Zijing Mining could be directed to take over Gamfang. But executives at Gamfang's partners argue it might uh, thrive even if Beijing tightened the screw. For Gamfang, limiting the flow of material out of China would create an opportunity as they are developing chemical processing globally, where the Chinese government does not have any jurisdiction, according to one of those partners. So far, Beijing's main gripe with the sector had been the, the risk that the price dented the market for electric cars. According to Daisy Jennings Gray, an analyst at uh, Benchmark Materials, Gan Feng said resource shortages and, sp and price spikes were mostly caused by the mismatch between supply and demand, and the best solution was accelerating exploration and development of upstream resources. The West's increasingly hawkish, hawkish view of China is causing the company complications. Vancouver-based Lithium Americas is considering spinning off a Nevada project, potentially ridding it of Chinese ownership and easing its access to U.S. government support. Mexico, where Gamfang is developing a project, has moved to nationalize lithium assets. Such pressures look, to, look set to intensify. The U.S. climate change bill passed by Congress last week appeared to target China groups by requiring a threshold of raw materials and batteries to be extracted, processed or recycled in the U.S. or by a trade agreement partner. So, Lowry said Gamfeng will, found it, uh, will find it increasingly difficult to nav nav navigate between increasing hostility towards Chinese, Chinese companies in the West and meeting demands from Beijing. So, thank you very much for watching this video.